today we're cooking beef short ribs with gravy. So if you like tender slow roasted beef and you love potato gravy, stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got about a four pound package of beef short ribs. They were a little bit spendy today, but it's the holidays and I couldn't resist those ribs. So we're going to just season with a little bit of kosher salt and pepper, get them all flipped over, and just season the other side. Now over on my stove top, I've got a hot pan over medium high heat. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil and start searing these ribs. They aren't cold, they're at room temperature so it's only going to take a few minutes on each side to sear. In the meantime, I'm going to chop an onion. I'm also going to chop this beautiful red bell pepper. I've also got some pre-sliced button mushrooms and I'm going to chop some parsley. By now it should be time to give our ribs their first flip. We're not trying to cook them all the way through at this point. Again, just focusing on getting a good sear on all four sides. Two minutes per side should be about eight to ten minutes total. Or until they look something like this. Just get a nice look here some good sear marks on all sides. This one's a little bit bigger, but as you can see, it didn't get any less seared. So we'll remove them from the heat and we'll start adding each beef short rib to this slow cooker. Now just to be clear, this is one of those old school crock pots from the 80s. It has a heavy glass lid that traps the steam, so I don't have to add any liquid but I am going to add the chopped onion and the chopped bell pepper right in the middle. Then I'm going to add the three remaining beef short ribs right over the top. Now smother with the mushrooms. Spread those out evenly so we can get the lid on top. And add the chopped parsley. Now we're going to cook this on low heat for 10 hours. And this is what you end up with. Now all that liquid you see in there is natural. It came off of every ingredient I put in this crock pot. But your slow cooker might require that you add liquid to get results like this. And you can believe that it's juicy, it's tender, and it's full of flavor. And you want to get all the ribs pulled out Get them set aside so we can get down to that liquid and make our gravy. But first, just look how tender. If this doesn't convince you, I don't know what will. But to take it to that next level, we're going to use that liquid in the bottom of that slow cooker and all these vegetables make an awesome potato gravy. So back on the stove in a hot pan we're gonna add some butter. Got a little bit of chopped garlic here. I'm gonna add that to the butter. Get that stirred in here a little bit. We need to make a roux so we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of all-purpose flour. And if you're not familiar with this concept you just stir this in, mix it for several minutes until the fragrance smells nutty. Then you add all of the liquid from the slow cooker, vegetables and all. Now you want to turn your stove up to high heat. Get a rolling boil going as you stir, that gravy will thicken. And when it does, you want to give it a taste, make sure it's seasoned the way you like. Also add the remaining vegetables if you've got any left in that slow cooker. And once you've stirred that in, you can kill the heat and go ahead and serve. If you like this video, 
please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. You don't want to miss recipes like this in the future. And there you have it. Beef short ribs with gravy right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.